I'm Vincent Miller, normally hailing from the Partridge, Kansas area close to Hutchinson, but currently employed in Michigan as a teacher. So the song is a text, based on a text, O Lord the Hard One Miles. It's a text by Paul Lawrence Dunbar, poet from the early 20th century and late 19th century. It's a text of longing for, for something more, of not finding complete satisfaction, but knowing that there is something that can be gotten. It talks about the weariness of traveling life's way and is full of anticipation for something more, but still being okay with where things are, but has a contented longing for more. It speaks powerfully of seeking after and pursuing and realizing that in this life, we will never fully get it together and that our ultimate satisfaction is yet to come. It's a, a short piece. It's a, written as a hymn, but using slightly unusual tonality. In technical speak, it could be described as starting in A-flat mixolydian, modulating to E-flat mixolydian. It could be thought of as being in E-flat mixolydian the whole time, but not arriving at the tonic until the second line. So those might sound a bit garbled to some, but that's a, a way to think of how it works. But the tonality is unusual. It's not quite like a standard hymn, which will make it strike the ear a little bit differently than some other pieces would. So it's slightly unusual in that way, but fairly short and simple. The Mixolydian mode in which it is written tends to, it's, it's a halfways minor mode. And so it's, it has a lot of minor tonality in it with some major. And so it has a sense of, of a little bit of darkness. And at the end, the, the very end of it, there is no resolution quite like we'd be used to hearing. And so it, that, that was intentional. It fits with the mode and it also fits with the textual meaning where there's something, it leaves one wanting more, just slightly. A little bit of background, the author of the text was a man who was not a stranger to difficulty. <clears throat> a man who often did look to find the, the good things in life. It was had a really hard life. He died young, born the, the son of former slaves, and had a rough life. This is a song that that is okay with things not being quite as they should be. It doesn't insist on having things all better. And so it's a song about hard things, but it doesn't insist on hard things being bad. And so I, I really found that powerful in the text. It allows difficulties to point us to something greater than the difficulties, greater than ourselves. It's not a song that, that begs to be satisfied now. It's okay with saying that things are difficult, but it doesn't insist on things needing to be better now. It's okay with waiting and with appreciating, with learning to appreciate the difficulties as an opportunity to grow. And Tate Domino Ensemble does a, an excellent job with music and it's a valuable service that they provide to the church and specifically to the role of art in the church and in producing excellent things that honor and glorify God and minister to the needs of his people.